This month, we're bringing you a major improvement to how roadworks and traffic information is presented on the One Network map. We're making it easier and faster for operational users, stakeholders and the public to use the map and access the information they need. Instead of works information appearing in a call-out box next to the icon, it will now display on the left-hand toolbar, providing more space for content and a smoother map experience. This will make coordination simpler and more efficient, allowing you to see all the surrounding and relevant road events more clearly. With this new layout, road event data now displays more clearly and includes standardised icons for causes and traffic restrictions, enabling faster and easier retrieval of information. All sharing and communication options are now located under the three dots button. By clicking this, you'll be able to copy and share a link to that individual road event on the One Network map via Facebook, X or email. The three dots button also provides the option to set map date range, which allows you to automatically set the date range on the One Network map to the same date specified on the road event callout you have selected. Just a quick reminder, you can also set the map date range to match the road event selected by simply clicking on the calendar icon at the top of the callout. The new centre of the map feature will bring you directly back to the location of the road event if you navigate away from the area. The third button is a new works planning button, providing even quicker access to our smart risk assessment tool. Previously, we launched a new and improved version of Works Planning and unlocked free use of the tool for all operational users and existing customers. Now you will be able to access and use this tool straight from any permit callout just by hitting the button. Doing this will automatically return all relevant crucial planning data within 200 metres of the road event. This can include built environment data, compliance information including Section 58, NSG and speed limits, and proximity factors such as schools, hospitals and fire stations. With this rapid access to works planning, you can now perform risk assessments and identify conflicts for existing road events even more efficiently. If you are a customer of our traffic management or route manager module, you will also be able to see quick access buttons for these modules. The traffic management button will appear when you click on a traffic management plan, such as a diversion route or road closure, and the route manager button will appear when you click on a bus route. There are several key improvements we want to take you through in today's video. Firstly, identifying which closures and diversions are associated with which roadworks is now simpler than ever before. When opening a works callout, any related road closures and diversions will now be highlighted on both the callout and on the map. This will be the case regardless of which layers you have enabled and what zoom level you are at. Hovering over the road event on the One Network map will now show useful and relevant information, reducing the need to click and saving you time when searching the map. The data displayed includes dates, work status, responsible promoters, reference numbers and more. Work status will display whether the works are about to start, in progress, completed or cancelled. It will also highlight where works are forward planning or advanced planning. Clicking on a cluster of road events on the One Network map will show you a list of the road events in the left-hand panel, along with useful and relevant data about each event, again reducing the need to click for more information. The new addition of a back button will now allow you to skip back to the callout for the previous road event you clicked on. Once the road event icon has been clicked, the callout will stay open and visible irrespective of the map zoom level. Hovering over icons or lines on the One Network map will bolden and highlight the icon or line, making it easier to identify specific items on the map. The same applies to causes and traffic restrictions listed on callouts. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you have any questions on anything included in this release, please contact support at one.network.